Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to work on carving a bear head. I'm just going to show you the basics and explain through it. You see in my other videos that I made a bear head, um, actually carved, roughed out a whole bear, didn't talk much. That's a fun video for people to watch, a lot of people like that one. This one is going to be going through and explaining it more. Um, so basically pretty much what I'm going to do here is kind of locate the bear's nose, right? And then I go straight back to the tips of the ears and then I'm going to make a sloped back cut for the for the back of his head and his ears. Um, because bears, you know, they can stand straight up, but for these character bears, I kind of like to give them a little bit more shape. Now, oh, one thing I'm going to stop the cutting for right now <clears throat> is when you make that that triangular V cuts, don't don't go straight down right away. Go kind of kind of taper it out. You'll see in this cut I come to the edge of the log. That's about about where the elbow of the bear is going to be. So, we're we're, you know, just kind of making the general reference points right now. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to bolt my carvings. I like to put a piece of plywood with three wood screws in the bottom. So this is the nose. Here are the sides. The cheeks are going to come out of there. So I'll put it here just so I can cut because the camera's, camera's right there. I don't want you to see my back. So, you know, that's going to make this video be a little bit slower process. But I like to explain, I try to explain everything that I'm doing. So this is the back of the bear's head, ear, ear. All right, so you make those three simple cuts like that. And now, now we get into defining the face, but now before I turn this, I can do this without having it clamped down because it's a big enough log. Before I get into turning it and doing the front on, I'm going to establish the, the eyes, the brow line, and where the ears are located. Um, and again, because of the camera right here, I'm not a professional camera guy, I'm just trying to carve and make you this video. so. You're seeing things kind of backwards. This is the nose. Okay, so that I have those. Now I'm going to cut in. I'm going to guess about how wide my head's going to be. It's it's a, in general. I always carve the head first and then work work the body down below that. Uh, the the from from just under the chin down to the the lowest uh, like if the paws if his arms are just hanging at his side, that's about twice. That's almost twice the height of the head, and then the legs are about another twice the height of the head generally speaking it doesn't have to be perfect um, but since I turned it I'm gonna establish the nose point first actually
I'm going to cut in the dip in between the ears. You can actually, as you're doing the top of the forehead, you can plunge cut through. But I'm trying to make this easy for you guys to understand. You see, you see this part here when when I cut, I trim the top of the head. I also made the round part of where about the cheek's going to be. That helps me establish where everything's going to be. You know, sometimes I'll go in and do the nose first. The nose is going to be another triangle. So we'll, we'll show you that right now. the nose kind of the rough shape of it established now you're starting to see the cheeks where about the ears are going to be um, like I said this is hard for me to do on camera so I'm trying to let you guys see what I'm doing but I think you can kind of figure it out Okay, so there's about where his ears, nose, now you're starting to see it come, come to life. So there you see, kind of the ear established, and I only do this just to cut away, to, to leave material for the shoulder, but also to kind of figure out where I'm going to put the bottom of the ear, still have the cheeks to go. When you're going in here don't go too deep in because then you'll have a big line in his nose so you just kind of whittle away at it little by little so there's the one side you see is his head there's his head it's that's that simple there's the start to a bear So there you see, beginning. You can always shrink this down. I always give myself more wood so that I can bring things in in order to fit the body better. I'm just showing you a bare head right now, going through everything. So at this point, I'm gonna start undercutting here and here, under the chin, you know, and probably shrinking the head down. So, 
What I did over here, I cut under a little and cut under a little. That's all that I did over here that you couldn't see. So now I'm doing the same over here. You where I'm not cutting too deep. You can stop there and start working underneath. Yeah. You just keep taking taking away little bits of time. Right? Okay, so you see where I'm opening up now for the shoulder line. This is just all in general. This is going to have a pop here that's going to be a welcome bear. So that's why I'm taking my time on this. I only want to show you just the face right now. Okay, so that's pretty much it, really. There's your start of your bear head. Um, now I have other videos that you guys can watch. Where you'll see you'll see more of how I get the shape and form remember you know even if you look at this these two cheeks aren't even you're gonna even those out you know that's another thing you, you get over here and you look over the top Again, this is this is my rough out, and he's he's not perfect by any means. I'm going to take this down a lot more. Um, that's where you get into your trimming and shaping. And once you get the hands established in the body, wherever from from here, I would go down, establish my shoulders and my my arm width, and put put the arms where they are, uh, and get into the feet where they're going to be. And then I would shape the head down to fit this picture a little bit better. Um, that's just how I work. Everybody's got their different thing. Sometimes you can blast the bare head out and go right off of that size perfectly. Um, other times you need to size it down. Right now, because this is the specific piece that I'm trying to do and I have in mind exactly what I want to do, that's where I will make the head a little bit bigger and, you know, I'll even leave all this back here until the end because this as it gets trimmed in then it starts to shape the ears but yeah that's pretty much it um, please check out my other videos and you know like and subscribe if it was worth your time to watch this because there will be more coming the more people that get into following what I do and uh, asking me questions or whatever um, <clears throat> the more I can be on here doing this because this takes a lot of time just to make videos so there you go guys thanks we'll see you later